Well, folks, we're getting into the nitty-gritty part of the ailerons. How Scott Weinberg, Iron Design LLC, decided to make this all as a one-piece rib. Everything straight and true, and a lot of things coming together. Pretty exciting little part here. By using some pre-planning, as is true with almost every part of the aircraft, we can make full-size ribs but with our added gussets and blocks or lack of them we can produce a rib that was or once attached to the spar can be finished then it's cut loose and you have it just like we intended without further fixtures to make a big time saver here it's shown the single end part it's not installed at this point it's just cut out and made and have ready that end part when all of the ribs are attached to the spars and then we put the point eight or excuse me point one two five right here plywood in that will support this end right off the end of the red arrow and here you can see the torque arm We know we're going to need some clearance here, and the distance is held by the two Delron spacers with a light stainless steel shim washer between them. This is a little over a quarter of an inch, 320 thousandths. This measurement on this photo is taken between the two green lines. You can also see the hinge block here on the left side and the hinge block on the inside that's slightly transparent and here's a close-up view I chose Delron because it's very light extremely tough absolutely does not wear if you have some kind of a metal surface separating the two pieces of Delron don't need oil it's just a wonderful product for a hinge situation like this again this is showing 320 thousandths between the two green lines and then the slight 10 thousandths gap between and that's strictly to hold the shim washer. From the underside of the wing we are looking at this uh, same part just showing how the pieces all fit together. Notice the uh, torque arm with the red arrow going down to it. The blue end rib is just that. It's just inside of the rib 7 as shown just on the previous slide. This is showing ribs 8 and 9. Simple, quick. We got the K block in between the two large gussets. Everything is sandwiched in. And of course what's not shown here is the aluminum cove that the aileron will fit up inside. All we're doing is taking Sam Buchanan's idea, not really improving it at all. We're just making the probably just a little bit easier to make. And we're doing that because of the CAD system allowed us to kind of prefigure all the shapes. Also shown here is the 0.8 millimeter leading edge of the aileron is slightly transparent so you can see all the parts in the inside. Here we're getting a real close-up view. We have to remember that this 0.125 ply is going to be on the leading edge of the aileron. So we cannot put the bull nose in until the ply is in. And we cannot put the ply in until all of the wing ribs are attached to the front and rear spars. So we got to do a little bit of planning here, but in the end it's going to be well worth it. How do we know that everything's going to fit together? Well here is the bull nose. We're cut back a little bit at the top and the bottom. It'll fit in like this when all the ribs are on the spars. And this is showing a 0.125 gap for the ply web. This would not be put in the jig stage. 
it is put in when all the ribs are on the leading and rear spar. Then the ply would be put in and then these bull nose. At this time all of the wing ribs are still 100% intact. But you can see just ahead of the bull nose in gusset C at the bottom and then at the top that's where we're going to cut it free when we're ready and we just sand it back to the bull nose in a nice contour shape. The very likelihood that the gusset A at the bottom and F1 at the top are going to be made a little bit different. This is the end of part two of three. I just showed one way that pre-planning can really open up the ways to build the wing. Again, not the only way, and I'm 100% open to better ways, ideas, or suggestions. If I agree, I'll sure make the changes. If I don't, I'm not going to say you're wrong, but I might ask you to prove your point. So I'm really after always trying to find the good ways to get things done, making good things better. And how can it be better? If we can save weight, time, or anything else involved, it's probably worth checking out. Thanks for watching. Supplemental plans are going to be available at my cost. And that's just basically a cost to print and the shipping. And these are just about the details of the things that are shown on here. These are not plans to build an aircraft. These are just strictly supplemental plans to the Legal Eagle Excel. Contact by email, email will work best. Iron Design Air Parts at gmail.com. Thank you.